The three-phase separator offers an interactive measurement and control experience to build competency in the crude oil separation process. It allows future operators, instrumentation technicians, and engineers to develop relevant skills to successfully perform installation, operation, troubleshooting, and maintenance tasks. The training system is a scaled-down version of a real horizontal, three-phase separator that demonstrates the fundamentals of oil separation, using water and mineral oil, with air as the gas medium, to emulate crude oil. Experiments are performed using industrial, smart instrumentation devices and control components, to provide first-hand experience with the hard communication protocol, as well as Rockwell Automation and Andres and Hauser technologies. The inlet zone is where the emulsion is created. The deflection plate is the first step in the separation process. The emulsion goes down and flows under the plate, then passes through the coalescing plates. The emulsion layer is quite thick at the beginning of the process, and its thickness decreases as it goes through the separation process. Components of the emulsion are eventually completely separated. Due to gravity, Water will remain below the oil to be drained from the vessel, and oil will overflow to the other section after passing over an overflow plate. The pneumatic controller will actuate the valve, and flow rate will be measured. Students interact with the system through an HMI for data acquisition and alarm management. The system is monitored using the plant PAX distributed control system. The HMI displays the instruments and allows the monitoring of output flow rates of air water, and gas, as well as temperature. It is possible to insert faults, as well as change the operating mode from automatic to manual, and the measuring units from metric to imperial. The HMI can also display a piping and instrumentation diagram of the system. The piping and instrumentation diagram displays and identifies the instruments, such as flowmeters for water, oil, and gas, and measuring devices for oil and water levels. Alarm management is also possible here. Housed in the monitoring unit, the PLC monitors processes and instruments, and sends information to the HMI. Each instrument can be quickly and easily connected to the monitoring unit. Two pressure regulators feed the system with air. This one on the left feeds the separator vessel, and the second one feeds two level controllers. This level controller controls the oil level. The second controller is used to control the oil and water interface level. Oil and water interface level can be adjusted using the screws of the appropriate mount. These two small valves can be used to fault the controllers. Other valves are hidden throughout the system to induce several faults, in order to test students' troubleshooting skills. Gas flows out of the vessel through this tube. Flow rate is measured by an orifice plate using the differential pressure across the pressure tappings. Gas will then flow through a back pressure regulator. This device maintains a constant pressure in the separator vessel. To make sure the pressure does not exceed limits, the pressure safety valve also controls the pressure inside the vessel, for enhanced safety. Three vibrating forks are located under the vessel and detect low levels of oil and water in the vessel. Vibrating forks send signals to their respective connection box. Connection boxes are equipped with fault switches to induce faults to the forks. The system includes two centrifugal pumps equipped with three-phase motors. One pumps water from the water tank, the other pumps oil out of the smaller oil tank. The pumps are controlled by the pump control unit. Two Allen Bradley variable frequency drives allow changing flow rates and pressure. The unit also features an emergency stop button, operating light signals, and a main disconnect switch. To start the pumps, the students use the keyboards on the control unit, and it is important that they enter the frequency. Pumps send water and oil to the three rot amateurs, one for water, one for oil, and one for gas. The rot amateurs allow students to control the proportion of water, oil, and gas in the crude oil emulation mixture. Water, oil, and air are sent through this tube here. It is possible to send this mixture to the inlet zone of the separator as is. It is also possible to divert the mixture to the inline mixer by turning these handles to blend the fluids. The large, 
clear acrylic vessel and clear PVC piping allow for observation of flows and of internal components during operation. It includes typical elements of a three-phase separator, such as a diverter plate, a perforated baffle plate, coalescing plates, a weir plate, and a demister pad. Here, we can see the level of oil and water. Oil overflows to this side of the vessel. Water flows out of the vessel from the bottom. Gas flows to this upper part of the vessel to be expelled. The demister pad, located in this zone, will filter any remaining droplets of oil or water. The vibrating fork here detects if the oil level becomes too high. The pressure gauge indicates the pressure in the vessel. There is also a pressure reading point connected to a transmitter. The multiparameter radar level transmitter allows for the measurement of oil and water levels in the separator. This rupture disc is a pressure relief device that protects the system against overpressurization. As previously mentioned, the signals of the oil and water levels are sent through this cable to this transmitter, so that we can read the levels. This tube sends information regarding the vessel pressure to this transmitter, which displays the correct value. The other transmitter is a differential transmitter that will measure the gas flow rate as measured by the backplate orifice. Each transmitter is equipped with a connection box that integrates a switch for fault insertion. Students can also learn to configure transmitters manually using these keys and menus. This optional transmitter displays temperature and is wired to a thermocouple located under the vessel. The water is drained out of the vessel from the bottom. A turbine flow meter measures outflow rate. The oil that overflowed in the right-hand part of the separator also needs to be drained out. The oil outflow is also measured by a turbine flow meter. The turbine flow meter for water can be replaced with an optional magnetic flow meter, like this one. For oil, it can be replaced with an optional Coriolis flow meter. Water and oil outflow rates are controlled by pneumatic control valves, actuated by level controllers located in the black box at the back of the separator. For manual control of the outflow rate, it is also possible to manually bypass the pneumatic control valves using bypass valves. For more information about the three-phase separator, please contact your Festo Didactic Sales representative or visit our website.